हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैकलिट एजुकेशनल चैनल सो दिस इज द पार्ट 18 रैपिड रिवीजन सीरीज फॉर द एनवायरमेंटल साइंस एंट्रेंसेस एंड दिस वीडियो इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज हियर वी विल डिस्कस सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस व्हिच वी हैव नेवर डिस्कस्ड बिफोर फॉर सम ऑफ यू इट विल बी वेरी वेरी न्यू थिंग्स सो गेट रेडी विद योर पेन एंड पेपर सो दैट यू कैन नोट डाउन ऑल दीस थिंग्स बिकॉज इन एग्जामिनेशन दे विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड So guys before starting today's video I would like to remind you that in this series there are 17 videos for the mega revision where we have discussed most important and frequently asked topics in the environmental science entrances such as net gate or any other environmental science entrances so you must check that video before going for the exam the provided link is in the i button as well as in the description below So in the last video of this series we had discussed about the Kepler's law that is first law and second law we had completed so the third law was to be discussed in this video third law is very simple no need to go deep very simple just remember the formula formula in the t square is equal to r cube t square is equal to r cube aapko yaad rakhna hai for the Kepler's third law of planetary motion what is t t is the orbital period and r is the mean distance from the sun of any planet so these two things you should remember one thing will be given you have to find the other thing and this relationship you have to remember no need to worry about this just remember this formula first question is on your screen the global 200 campaign aimed to protect world selected representative ecosystem was launched in the 1977 by which of the following organization so first thing is that this global 200 campaign was launched in the year 1997 you should note down and it aimed at protecting world selected representative ecosystem and who launched this this was launched by wwf that is worldwide fund for nature so let's move to the next question the next question is among the following which are the example of ecosystem people so this term will be new for some students i am damn sure so you have to look into the options and tell me so here option number c will be correct that when tribals are collecting the resources from the forest they will be called as ecosystem people because they are living inside the forest they are collecting the resources and using it that's why they are the ecosystem people so i hope it is clear let's move on to the next question the next question is coming up from the current affairs so this all are mostly from the unit 10 of the ugc net environmental science syllabus so the question is jal tripti is a device which is developed by the CAZRI that is Central Arid Zone Research Institute which is located in Jodhpur is applicable in which of the following so here the correct option will option number b it is applicable for the drip irrigation of planted trees so jal tripti is the device used for the drip irrigation of the planted trees coming to the next question so this is the rapid revision you will go one by one The question is to generate environmental awareness paryavaran vahini scheme was launched in our country in which of the following years So here the correct option will be in 1992 this paryavaran vahini scheme was launched to generate the environmental awareness Next question is environmental information system that is envis which was set up by the minister of environment and forest this also you should note down envis was set up by minister of environment and forest but in which of the following years so it was established in the year 1982 yes option c will be correct 1982 mein envis jo hai set up kiya gaya tha minister of environment and forest ke dwara let's move to the next set of questions so the next question is among the following which process or activity does not releases any greenhouse gases so among the four the correct option will option number d that is nuclear energy generation does not releases any greenhouse gases but all these three are the process which are generating greenhouse gases which are releasing in some or other way next question is very very frequent last question in the examination that is the chemical formula of the cfc's will be given so here it is asking about cfc 11 and cfc 12 and you should calculate this as per the formula which you know if you don't know you can click on this link to know how to calculate the formula and for this question the correct option will be option number a that is cfc 11 formula is cfcl3 and cfc 12 formula is cf2cl2 
let's move on to the next question the next question among the following which chemical has maximum life in the natural environment so options are cfc12 cfc115 hcfc22 halon1211 so this is actually telling about the lifetime in the atmosphere and here the correct option will be what it will be cfc115 that will be having the maximum life in natural environment but we should know what are the life in the natural environment of these chemicals starting with the cfc12 cfc12 the life in the natural environment is approximately 140 years cfc115 the life in the atmosphere is how much it is 1700 years yes approximately 1700 years is the lifetime for the cfc 115 very dangerous next is hcfc 22 hcfc 22 the maximum life in the natural environment is only 12 years very good boy halon 1211 the life in the atmosphere is only around 16 years so these four things are important you should note down next question is also related to this let us read the question ozone depleting potential is maximum in case of which of the following chemicals so this was about the life in the natural environment what are the age how much they can stay and this is asking about the odp that is ozone depleting potential don't get confused with global warming potential these two things are very very different this is only asking about the ozone depleting potential of these four chemicals which is having the maximum and here maximum is with the halon 1301 yes why we will also know what are the odp of these four chemicals halon 1301 the ozone depleting potential is how much it is three that is the value of odp for halon 1301 is three and value of odp ozone depleting potential for hcfc 22 is how much it is 0 0.02 yes 0 0.02 for hcfc 22 cfc 115 what is the odp the cfc 115 odp is 0 0.6 for similarly for cfc 12 what is the ozone depleting potential its ozone depleting potential is 1 that is the standard unit so here 3 is maximum so halon 1301 is having the maximum odp among the four options given i hope you are enjoying this video next question is ipcc is concerned with which of the following so if you know the full form you will directly hit the option and you will get the full marks climate change yes intergovernmental panel for climate change is the full form of ipcc that's why it is concerned with the climate change in particular so let's move on to the next set of questions so the next set of questions are on your screen let us read them first question is a nuisance plant which doubles its biomass in eight days and which is termed as beautiful blue devil it is actually a devil but it is beautiful in blue color so what is that plant so it is very simple option number b will be correct water hyacinth is the beautiful blue devil known for doubling its biomass in eight days only so coming to the next question the next question is objective and guiding principles of environmental education were first formulated in 1977 at which of the following place so here the correct option will be option number b billy c t is silent so billy c is the place where first time the objectives and guidelines principle of environmental education were first formulated in the year 1977 so some of you will hit stockholm by looking into only 1977 so it will be incorrect stockholm related conference was in 1972 let me remind you 1972 jab diya hoga tab stockholm mein select karna varna yaha pe Billy C. Hoga, correct answer. Coming to the next question. The next question is which among the following country releases maximum greenhouse gases? So I hope this will be very easy for all of you. Correct option will be option number B. China. Yes. Father of Corona. The maximum greenhouse gas emitter. So here I would like to tell you that you have to comment me which country is releasing maximum greenhouse gases per capita means per individual you have to comment me in the comment section whether it is china or whether it is usa or any other country coming to the next question the next question is dobson unit is used to measure the ozone column thickness we all know 
if you don't know you should note down so one dobson unit at standard temperature and pressure is equal to the ozone column thickness of what length so it is talking about the thickness not length and here the correct option will be option number c that is 0.01 millimeter it has been asked several times in the exam please note it down 0.01 millimeter is the ozone column thickness coming to the next question next question is also very important be attentive among the following which act is the oldest one and acts are bengal rhinoceros prevention act madras wildlife elephant preservation act wildlife protection act and the wild birds and animals protection act so these four are from india only yes and here i will tell you one by one so this bengal rhinoceros preservation act was enacted in which year it was in the year 1932 similarly madras wildlife protection act when it was enacted it was enacted in 1873 so this is the oldest one coming to the wildlife protection act we all know 1972 and last the wild birds and animal protection act when it was enacted it was enacted in the year 1912 so note down all these things 1912 wild birds and animal protection act 1972 wildlife protection act madras wild elephant preservation act 1873 and bengal rhinoceros preservation act in 1932 so i hope this was new for you let's move on to the next set of questions so here the question are on your screen the question is asking india signed the cartagena protocol on biosafety the only international framework that regulates the trade in which of the following very simple you will be knowing this it is related to the regulation for trade in genetically modified products that is gm products coming to the next question joint forest management was initiated in india in 1972 at which of the following place here two questions you will be able to know two things joint forest management act in 1972 place is arabari west bengal arabari west bengal repeatedly saying joint forest management was initiated in arabari west bengal next question is cold blooded animals are also known as what options are on your screen hypotherms poikilotherms urotherms or cryotherms so here the correct option will be they are called as poikilotherms some of you will be hitting cryotherms cryopreservation cold so cold blooded and you will get a big zero actually it will be poikilotherms and it is also known as they are also known as what they are also known as ectotherms yes three names for single kind of organism ectotherms poikilotherms or cold blooded animals coming to the next question which equipment releases ozone gas gas stove refrigerator photocopier or microwave oven so here some of you pandit will go and hit the refrigerator and will get the big zero refrigerator releases cfcs not ozone it is talking about ozone so ozone is released from the photocopier machine yes this is the correct option option c photocopier releasing ozone gases next question is which radioactive element is considered under indoor pollutants category very easy if you have checked the quiz you have joined our telegram group you will be knowing option d radon is the indoor pollutant which is a radioactive element if you haven't joined our telegram group join there for regular quizzes learn for the environment is the name i will provide the link in the description coming to the next set of questions so this question is coming from the russell carson's book that is silent spring which was in the year 1962 published this question was also asked once who wrote the book silent spring the correct option will be russell carson so this question is not asking that this is asking that what was the focus of that book silent spring don't get silent please answer this question answer will be it was related to the potential ecological devastation of pesticide such as ddt in the ecosystem so this was telling the pesticide effect on the ecosystem mostly it was focusing on coming to the next question next question is having the numerous options to select so question is among numerous factors that account for the low level of utilization of fly ash the chief factors are what so it is talking about the fly ash so what is fly ash fly ash are actually the by product in the coal fired power station jahan pe coal fired power station hota hai wahan ka jo by product hota hai use fly ash kehte hain so it is asking 
which among the factors account for lower level of utilization of fly ash read every options carefully so here the correct option will be option number a that is all all these are the chief factors because of them only we are not able to utilize this fly ash what are the factors poor understanding of the chemistry of fly ash absence of standards and specification for fly ash products lack of reliable quality assurance for fly ash products poor public awareness about the products and their performance for fly ash and non availability of dry fly ash collection facility all these things are the reason because of which we are not able to utilize this fly ash generated from the coal fired power station let's move to the next question the next question is which of the following statement is or are true about nalgonda technique so this is not anaconda nalgonda it is telling that which statement is correct and here only b is correct yes nalgonda technique is a technique which is to remove fluoride from the water sample yes it is not for arsenic it is for fluoride so it involves use of activated alumina to remove the fluoride alumina ka formula kya hai alumina formula is al2o3 that is aluminum oxide so that is the fluoride removal chemical used in nalgonda one more thing it is also used many things are used you should remember lime is also used in nalgonda technique of removing fluoride so let's move to the next set of question i hope you are writing down all these things so the next question is which of the following is the prime health risks associated with greater uv radiation through the atmosphere due to depletion of stratospheric ozone so health risk prime concern for the uv radiation is what so the prime concern is increased in skin cancer yes if the uv radiation is in the greater amount from the stratosphere depletion then it will cause increasing skin cancer in our body coming to the next set of questions next question is which of the following is not as a consequence of global warming global warming ka kaun sa consequence nahi hai so here option b will be correct increased agriculture productivity worldwide is not a consequence if it would have written decreased agriculture productivity then it would have been the consequence of global warming and other are rising sea level worsening health effect increased storm frequency all these are the consequence of global warming but option b is not the consequence of global warming that is increased agriculture productivity coming to the next question the next question is which of the following is not a primary contributor to the greenhouse gas so jahan pe not diya hoga please read that question carefully where it is given not so here the correct option is option number b carbon monoxide is not a primary contributor to the greenhouse effect but carbon dioxide chlorofluorocarbons and nitrous oxide are major contributor to the greenhouse effect so the next question is the three primary soil macronutrients are what so i hope you will be able to answer this option c potassium phosphorus and nitrogen potassium k phosphorus p nitrogen n and there is a trick to remember macro and micronutrients even there is a trick for all the several different videos i'll provide the link in the description as well as in the i button you can learn them and you can go and give the exam very very confidently so i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this don't forget to like subscribe the channel to get all further updates keep preparing keep smiling and believe in yourself